Look at that pretty girl. Figured you hadn't met her, so I just had her sit up in the chair. She's gotten good at sitting in chairs now. But oh, she's, she's so but. good. No, she's come such a long way, Justin. She was in bad shape when you got her. She looks beautiful. Thank you. Okay, Justin, she I know a lot fantastic. about you, but I don't do know it. everything, so we're going to play a game. We're called, Can Justin Throw Me Off the Truth? All right. So, uh, Kuma is very excited about this game. Um, three yeah, she's facts. Thrilled, isn't she? Three facts about you are going to pop up on the screen. Two of them are lies. One will be real. Twitch and I will have to guess which one is true. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they are. I wrote a play about hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I got hit by a car in New York while skateboarding and woke up with amnesia. I have a tattoo of my mom on my thigh. Hmm. Two of them are lies. Hmm. One is the truth. Um, and as I said, I know a lot about you, but I know you have a lot of tattoos. I don't think you have a tattoo of your mom on your thigh. And if you had one, I don't think it would be on your thigh. Um, Twitch, do you have a feeling about, do you think he would write a play about hard boiled eggs? I, that's what I was leaning towards. Um, I, yeah, I think the, the one about hard-boiled eggs seems like it's like... I think it's so yeah. weird that it's, it's trying to make us Agreed. think that that's it. I think he actually got hit by a car, because he, he would be skateboarding in New York. He would do something like that, and I think he'd get hit by a car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to go with one. You're going to go with the eggs? I'm going to go with one. Yeah, gonna I'm going to go with the one. eggs. He's going to go with uh, hard-boiled eggs, which sounds like a fascinating <laughs> play, by the way. I mean, it, it, it is a fascinating oh, play. Hopefully it becomes a musical. <laughs> Twitch, uh, I didn't write that play. You didn't. Unfortunately. And so, Ellen, you get to put one up on the scoreboard for I got hit by a car and had amnesia. You did. Yes, that's a true story. I got hit by, I was skateboarding and I got, it was actually a van, but I got hit by a van and um, woke up with people all around me. I clearly blacked out um, for, I think, a long time. There was a woman over me weeping. Um, there were two men, gentlemen, holding my arms uh, so I wouldn't touch my head. And I, and I, and the woman was screaming at me. And she goes, she goes, who are you? What's your name? You know, what's your phone number? What's your, you know, trying to get in touch with someone. Um, and it was as if someone had asked me, like, what was an umbrella? And I forgot the name of umbrella, but it was myself. Um, and I had no clue who I was. And I didn't know, I mean, I knew I was me, but I didn't know that I, uh, had, I couldn't remember my name and I couldn't remember my phone number. And then sort of a panic sets in. And then gradually it started to come back. And, um, and the ambulance, this was kind of the New York hilarious part of it. The ambulance took about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. <laughs> um, and I was lying on the pavement just going, and people were now kind of getting bored with this guy. Smoked blood <laughs> pouring out of his head. And they were like, and I look up and this, finally the EMT shows up over me. And all I see is sort of his face over me looking at me. And then he turns back to his partner, who I guess is sort of still in the truck, and he goes, he's not dead. <laughs> tells you that they were, they didn't rush, because they just figured he's dead. He's not going to be alive when we get there anyway. So, and then later, when I'm in the ambulance going to the hospital, the guy was like, yeah, we thought you were dead. Sorry, we would have been on you know, a little quicker. We, we knew that you were uh, still alive. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, my God. Did you have broken bones or anything? What, what happened to you? No, I had a... Oh, you know what? It got worse. I, I had a concussion, um, and then I went into the hospital that night, and I, I had to keep me overnight for observation. They gave me all these brain scans and things. Um, and then a guy wakes me up in the... I wasn't even... I forgot this part of the story. The guy wakes me up in the middle of the night, and he says, um, we got to get the doctor in here from Jersey. We think we noticed something on your cat, cat scans. It's like 2 in the morning. And... Um, and I go, well, what? And he, they, so then they shaved my head and prepped me for brain surgery. And I go, oh, okay. Uh, and then they make you sign all this paperwork that says, you know, if I, and I'm thinking, like, I got to call somebody. <laughs> like, you know, there's no one to call. Um, and uh, so I signed my life away on these paperwork. Then the doctor finally gets there from Jersey. Um, and he comes in, you know, sort of rumpled hair. And he looks at the CAT scan. And he's like, oh, it's just the thing with the scan. It's not really a, it's not blood on the brain. And he's like, you go back to bed. But I spent about half an hour there waiting just to go into brain surgery. With your head um, shaved. But it was nothing. Yeah. With, with my head. Yeah, yeah, I had a nice big ball patch. In wow. Head. So a couple wow. stitches and... Um,
discharged glad, in the morning. Glad you're okay and glad you didn't write a play about hard-boiled eggs. Um, <laughs> Justin, it's great seeing you. I hope to see you soon. The Mosquito Coast is available on Apple TV+. Plus. We'll be back. I love you, too. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball-peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!